Hello YouTube. Welcome to Brian's Beer Reviews. Tonight, this is uh, beer review number one, and tonight we're reviewing Pabst Blue Ribbon Beer. It is given a 71 score on Beer Advocate, 83 by the Bros on Beer Advocate. It is uh, you originally called Best Select and Pabst Select, and they got the name Pabst Blue Ribbon after when they got the blue ribbons tied around the neck uh, between 1882 and 1916. And uh, it is 4.74 alcohol by volume. It is 144 calories. It's a little high in carbohydrates, 12.8 grams. It's not, a, it's not your light beer, it's a, it's a lager. And it is a old time favorite, and it is a favorite of the hipsters these days too. This is a hipster's favorite, so let's get right to it. We're going to open this puppy up and we're going to see what the booba is all about. So let's let's try right there. Let's go right down there like that. Has a nice head to it. I love this can. It's a 16 ounce can. Still very attractive. This was my father's beer. This, when I was a kid, this is the beer that my father drank often. So we're going to give it a nose test here. We're going to try it. Uh, it's quite pungent, quite uh, sweet almost, corn. A little honey, a little lemon. Tremendous golden color, a lot of carbonation, quite a bit of carbonation. Golden, clear though, clear though. This smells to me, this is what, this is my first memories of beer, what beer smelled like. And I'm telling you, I love this beer. Love this beer from years ago. I haven't had a long time. This is my first review, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on it here and give you my feelings uh, currently. Okay. Actually, has good lacing there. Very good. Sweet. Strong. You can tell right away it has a, it's a it got a good beer taste, good strong beer taste. I don't think you'd want to drink too many of these because it does feel a bit, a bit heavy if you're used to light beers. If you're used to light beers, this is going to be a heavy beer to you, and um, it will fill you up. It will fill you up. But I can tell you, this is a, it's an enjoyable beer. It's crisp. If you put this on ice, get it nice and cold. Whew, boy, this reminds me of the good old days. Now, this is one I think that uh, everybody should try. Pat Blue Ribbon is a, is, a, is a favorite around the country now. It's, it's got a tremendous popularity. It's gone from uh, the lower tier, it was in trouble, and sometimes there'd be some 400 million liters or something like that uh, a year. It's, it's, it's a tremendous seller, and it's good re it has good reason. It's, 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 a, it's an all-around beer for e every man. And if I was, I'd be uh, quick to recommend, and I'd say give it a try. You're not missing out. On one of the uh, more glorious uh, craft beers, but this is a, a good American lager standard, and it doesn't—you you can't go wrong. This is very, very tasty. I think I, this is worth a second try, a second beer, <laughs> certainly, but. In my opinion, I think that uh, 
that's it's well worth the uh, I think six uh, six dollars five ninety nine six pack for the sixteen ounce. I think I really got a good value and my money's worth it. And thanks for watching. I'm going to tune in next time and review some Baltimore beers. And these are some of those old Baltimore beers that were are now being brewed, owned by Paps. This was a uh, Colt 45 named after uh, number 45 of the Baltimore Colts. And this is the National Bohemian Natty Bo, which was uh, used to be owned by Jerry Hofberger, the owner of the Orioles in the 70s, 60s and 70s. So thank you for watching YouTube and and thank you for uh, and tune in again, please.